We're going to be looking at evaluating some functions using variables. Now, don't overthink these. It's the same exact process we've been using with numbers. We're just going to use a variable instead. For example, we have the function h of x equals 4x plus 3. If we want to find h of b, all that means is we're taking this b and we're plugging that in for our x value. That would give us h of b equals 4 times b, plugging in that b for the x, plus 3. Now, since that's a variable, we can't really simplify, and our final answer is just going to be 4b plus 3. So the same exact thing, just plugging in a variable rather than a number. Let's try to find h of negative 3x. Same thing, just instead of x, we're going to plug in negative 3x. That's going to give us 4 times negative 3x, again, just substituting that negative 3x in for that x, plus 3. Now if we multiply that out, we'll have 4 times negative 3x, giving us negative 12x, plus 3. That's as far as we could simplify, and that's our answer. Here we have h of 7x plus 1. It doesn't matter how complicated whatever's inside these parentheses are, it's always the same thing. We're just going to take that value and substitute it in for x. That's going to give us 4 times 7x plus 1, just switching out that 7x plus 1 for the x, plus 3. Now we're going to have to distribute. That'll give us 28x plus 4, distributing that, 28x plus 4, and then we still have this plus 3. Simplifying that again, we'll add our like terms. 28x is going to stay the same. We have 4 plus 3, that's going to be plus 7, and we've got our answer.